Well, there you are. Yeah. I know what happened. Carly told me about it. Oh, and I bet she really enjoyed it, too. No, as a matter of fact, she was really worried about you. And so was I. Why? I mean, I'm not going to shove my head in an oven or anything, am I? I mean, not over him. I know who said I'd love to shove in an oven. It was a rotten thing for Adam to do. Yeah, well, at least he lost his bet, didn't he? Oh, Emma. Oh, why'd he do it to me, Elsa? I mean, what did I ever do to him? I thought he really liked me. He took me down to the wharf and he showed me his yacht. And I just told him stuff about me that was personal. And all the time he was just laughing at me like all the others. Oh, I don't know, love. He probably didn't even stop to think. Boys are like that sometimes. I hate them. I hate them all. I'll get it. I also. Oh. Um, can I speak to Emma for a sec, please? Does that answer your question? I just want a chance to apologise. I don't think Emma's interested in anything you have to say. Yeah, it was a pretty stupid thing I did. I can't blame her. Well, if you're looking for an argument, you won't get one from me. In fact, I think it was downright disgusting. I think you'd better be on your way now, don't you? Yeah. Well, thanks for hearing me out, eh? Emma? What a crawler. He wanted to apologise. Yeah, I heard. Tell me, have you been out with boys very often? Not lately. They're a waste of time. I know your stepfather hurt you very badly, love, but not all men are as bad as that, honestly. Oh, aren't they? You mustn't let Adam put you off going out with boys altogether. He just isn't worth it. I know. He's going to be sorry for what he did, Elsa. He's going to be so sorry. <gasps> We're not going to get rich today. No, they're all down watching the race. There's no point in both of us hanging around. Why don't you go down there too? I'm not interested in their dumb race. Well, it's got to be right, and when you've all moved them from there to there, you can move them back to there. It's called trying to look busy. Look, I don't want to see the race, Elsa, honestly. You don't want to see the race, or you don't want to see Adam? You can't let him spoil your fun, love. I'm not. If draft races isn't my idea of a good time, that's all. You've got a bet with Alf. You're more interested than I am. You go. Go on, go. OK. I should be able to get there in time for the finish. Stop worrying about me, will ya? I'm feeling bitter about Adam by the minute. <laughs> well, looks like we lost our bet, but it was a scream watching in the sink. What, do you reckon I did it? No, no, of course not, but, um, <laughs> good on you anyway. Golly. There you go. Those holes have been drilled all right. Oh, well, it wasn't me. I wouldn't have wasted my time. We had you beaten anyway. Oh, not till we started sinking. Oh, we were beating you for miles. Yeah, only because of the current. You didn't find out about that until this morning. These holes could have been drilled yesterday or the day before. Hang on, there's enough holes there to sink a battleship. Well, you guys had a practice run before the race. How come you didn't sink then? Yeah. 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 Because of the soap. I plugged the hole so it'd take a while to dissolve. Well, we didn't sink your dumb raft. I did. <laughs> I got you off the hook with Adam. What more do you want? Yeah, look, why not, Bobby? I think it's great. Yeah, I don't blame it. Not after what Adam did. No, oh, I wish we thought of it. We wouldn't have had to row so hard. <laughs> What's wrong with you guys? The whole point was to go out there and prove we could beat the jerks. Yeah, well, we did. Only because they suck. Oh, we had them beaten anyway. That's not the point. An unfinished race is like a race never run. And thanks to her, it was a total waste of time. Oh, come on. Like she said, you would have won anyway. I got to pay Adam back and you got off the hook at the same time. Oh, butter would have melted in her mouth. Don't give me any bull about wanting to get me off the hook. That's the last thing you'd want to do. I can have it your way. I've been stuck here all day while you guys been out having a good time. I reckon I'm due for a break and a long one. Hey. Watch it. I'm beginning to think I sunk the wrong raft. Because right now, I wish you were at the bottom of the river. Jeez, you girls get up tight. Why do you not explode? What do you Bobby? want? Hi. Drop dead. 
I want to talk to you. You're deaf as well as stupid. Look, I know you're really mad at me, and I don't blame you. That little snake. What I did was stupid, I admit. But I made that bet before I got to know you. And after that, I was sort of looking forward to going out with you. Honest. Look, you've paid me back, OK? Can't we just forget about it? I have to work this afternoon. I didn't get to see you drown. Yeah, I oh, know. It was really embarrassing. So, do me a favour? Yeah, sure. Do it again. Why not? Enjoy your break. Oh, what's wrong now? I just went for a walk down by the river. So? Oh, I saw you and Adam. So? Well, so you look pretty friendly. Didn't take you long to forget how upset you were and move in on him now, did it? Let me tell you something, Carly. I don't really care what you think, but it just so happens that he followed me down there, he moved in on me, and I told him to go jump in the river, and that's the end of the story. So just leave me alone. And you, Carly? You tell her. G'day, Carls. I want to talk to you, creep. What's up? I just saw you and Emma down by the river. Well, I figured she was trying to crack onto you, but that wasn't the case now, was it? How much are charts, Adam? Because I'm going to buy you one for the North Pole, and the sooner you set sail, the better. Jeez. Well, looks like you're losing your charm. <sighs> Let you out? Oh, oh, it's you. Sorry. Yeah, I want to talk to you anyway. That was a pretty dangerous stunt you pulled in the river this afternoon, sabotaging a raft like that. Typical. I mean, I might have known you'd be on their side. Not on anybody's side. Somebody could have got hurt. They got wet, that's all. Something could have gone wrong. There are some pretty dangerous currents in that river. Even a strong swimmer can get into trouble. Oh, I see. I mean, it's okay for Adam to play a dirty trick on me, but it's not okay for me to pay him back. That's not what I said. It is so! I'm sick of it, okay? Just leave me alone! Uh, Emma? What? Look, uh, uh, about before, uh, I'm sorry. Uh, shoot first and, and think later, that's my problem. It always has been. Uh, same with Ruthie. I, I guess I've told you about me and her. Bit. Yeah, yeah, the problem is I, uh, I thought being a father was all about telling someone how to grow up. The trouble is, Ruthie didn't see it that way. She'd dig her toes in and I'd get madder and madder. <laughs> um, most people learn from their mistakes, but, but not me. Oh, no, I just make the same ones over and over again. Look, uh, I'm sorry. It's all right. Well, uh, what do you reckon we, we start from the... Don't touch me! Just don't touch me! Hi. Mr. back early. Still got another ten minutes. Yeah, I know. Look, I owe you an apology. I'm sorry for accusing you of moving in on him. Yeah, whatever well, makes you feel good. <laughs> it doesn't make me feel good. I just didn't think it was right to accuse you of something that was a your fault. There you go. I guess it just seemed easier to slag on you than to accept the fact that Adam wasn't interested in me anymore. Which seems to go for most of the men in my life. Poor little Carly. No one loves her, huh? Oh, come on. I said I was sorry, okay? What more do you want? Yeah. Okay. Thanks. 
Thanks. Just goes to show how much you can trust guys, doesn't it? Yeah, not very much. They should all be drowned at birth as far as I'm concerned. Come on, everyone, get your act together. Oh, all right, all right, we're coming, no rushes. Yeah, by the time I drop you and Emma off at the diner and get muscles here to the babysitter... Are you going to try calling Morag again? Uh, it's a waste of time, love. I think she's got the phone off the hook. Can't say I blame her. If it was me, I would have ripped it out of the wall by now. Yeah. Here, well, come on, you're right, Emma. Yeah. Well, I'll just get my hand back. Oh, what now? Oh, good night, Morag. Uh, morning, Alfred. Just come in. Thank you. Morag, I've been trying to ring you all morning. Well, I haven't exactly felt like taking any calls this morning. Oh, yeah, yeah, I appreciate that. Uh, look, we were just leaving, actually. Oh, I'm sorry. I just wanted a quick chat with Elsa, but I suppose I... Oh, no, 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 that's all right. I'm sure the diner can survive without me for an hour or so. You and Emma head off, love. Yeah, right. Are you right, Emma? No, well, um, I'll walk if that's okay. And then exercise will do me good. <sighs> yeah, well, uh, suit yourself. I'll see you later. Yeah, bye-bye, love. Uh, tell Carly I've been held up, will you, sweetheart? Yeah, okay. Uh, I'm sorry I disrupted your morning. Uh, no, no, that's all right. Hey, haven't you got a twin sister who's a model or something? Yeah, you've probably seen a face class with a lot of big bosses. Yeah, I think I remember seeing her on TV or something. Yeah, that was Samantha and dear old dad. So how come you're fostered and she isn't? Because my dad hates me. We couldn't live in the same house together. I hate him just as much anyway. So what about you? How do you get on with your father? My real father or my stepfather? No, both. My real father, he's the best man in the whole world. Just like a dad should be. <laughs> oh, yeah, so they do exist then, do they? Yeah, but then he died. Oh, sorry. How old were you? Eight. And when I was ten, Mum married this real pig and it all started from there. What did... I mean, the worst thing was that no one would believe me, not even Mum. I mean, if we couldn't do anything like that, how dare you even suggest it? You know, she can have it. They could both go rock hell. Sorry. Watch it, okay? I uh, had a bit of a chat with Alf this morning. Oh, yeah? You had a misunderstanding, I hear. Oh, do we have to talk about it? No. No, we don't have to, but um, I think it would be a good idea for your sake. Why? Emma, I can understand that you have a problem with men touching you. But you cannot avoid them for the rest of your life. They do make up half the population. Yeah, worst luck. Oh, darling, they're not all bad. Oh, yeah? Well, what about my stepfather? And what about Carly's father? All right, you've both had bad experiences. But difficult as this might sound, you're going to have to start trusting them at some... Alf was very upset about what happened. Yeah, well, he should have kept his hands off me. And you had no right to go blaming him about me either. Emma, you can't lash out at Alf like that, darling. We all have to live together. I told Mum about Eric, but she wouldn't listen. I understand what you've been through. Really, I do, but the situation is different. Alf is not Eric. Alf was not trying anything on. I know it's going to be difficult for both of you, but please, can't you give him another go? I suppose so. Good. You won't be disappointed. Alf's a good man. Makes a worthwhile friend. 